Have you ever made a first, second, and third redeem and some jack wagon comes in and redeems all three so nobody else can? That really bothers me. So I'm going to show you how to make one that only one person can redeem. Hello, my name is Rollison. I'm a streamer on Twitch and I also help people with streamer bot. I do streamer bot stuff to spice up my stream. And today I'm going to show you how to make a first, second, and third redeem that only one person can redeem. Um, so first we're going to go into our actions. We're going to add a new one. I'm going to call it first, second, and third. Okay. And I'm going to put it in group one, two, three, just so I can keep it some more. Okay. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to make a trigger. We're going to go to Twitch. Uh, channel reward, reward redemption, create reward. I'm gonna call it first. You can make it cost however much you want. Um, we're just gonna leave this all like that for now. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna go under our sub actions. We're gonna go into Twitch users, get user information for target. And we're gonna wanna go into user. Then we're going to want to go into core. We're going to go into globals, global get. And then I'm going to call this first underscore count. Just like that. And I'm going to copy this so I can put it in the destination variable. We're going to leave that default zero for blank. We're going to go into core. We're going to go into globals again. And we're going to go to global set. This time we're going to get increment we're going to put that thing that we copied and we're going to paste it there we're going to increment it by one then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this global all right and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into which rewards and we're going to want to go to um update okay we're gonna want to find first in this it's gonna be at the very bottom because we just made it and we're gonna title it second right there and that's it for that okay now we're gonna want to go into and make another action add and i'm gonna call this one first message all right and we're gonna go into Twitch. We're gonna go to Twitch chat. We're gonna go into send message to channel. And I'm gonna put something like congrats on first. And then I can do something like this user, and that's gonna say the name. Then we're gonna wanna go into here and we're gonna go into for uh, logic, if else. We're gonna go if variable first count, that's why we copied it, equals one do first message. All right. Now, we're going to want to go and make another. We'll duplicate this and then we'll remain it, rename it to second message. And we'll change this to second. going to want to go into core or not core we want to go into twitch rewards update and go into first and title it third okay we'll go back to our original 
duplicate this. Okay, if it equals two, we'll do second message. I'm, I'm sure you see a pattern here already. We're going to duplicate this. We're going to change this to third message. Then okay. we're going to go into this. That's on third. delete this real quick okay then we are going to go back and we're going to duplicate this we're going to make it three and it will make it say third message okay then we're going to want to go in here and we're going to make a new action add call this one one two three disabled and we're gonna go into our twitch rewards and we want to set enable state of oh, first to disable We're gonna go into our first, second, third. We're gonna duplicate this one. But this time we're gonna keep it three and we want it to be disabled. All right. All right, the last thing that we wanna do is we wanna make a reset. We're gonna add that. I'm gonna call it one, two, three, reset. We're going to go into our Twitch rewards. I'm going to go to update. One. Our first. We're going to change that to first. I'm going to hit. Okay. Then we're going to go into our core. Go into globals. Global set. Uh, we're gonna paste that in there one more time. Value, and we want this to be zero. All right. We also want to enable the reward once again. So set enable state. Enable. this to happen whenever OBS um, starts streaming. And end streaming. And the next thing that I would do is I would go into platforms, find your first redemption. three per stream and one per user that makes it to where only one person can redeem it and a maximum of three people total can redeem it um but for testing purposes i'm going to keep it at zero and then we're going to go into here and we're going to test and see if it changes automatically whenever we use it so here's my first i'm going to redeem it and it should say grads on first and then you can see that it changed the second. I'm gonna redeem it. Congrats on second. And I'm gonna go in. Three. Congrats on third. And then you you don't see it anymore because it's disabled. Um. All right. 
if this tutorial helped you and you liked it uh, please give me a follow um, i know this one is kind of a lot longer than usual but i'd appreciate it if you give me a follow and a like and whatnot and follow me on twitch and subscribe and all that stuff and i'll see you in the next one